I'm Roberto Coviello, software engineer on XR and AI experiences at Meta. In this session, we will look at an experience we created earlier called Blossom Body. It is a relaxing mixed reality experience where we can place virtual flowers in our physical space and our robot friend flies over to them. But it feels a little bit bland. Therefore, I will show you how to add audio feedback to make it more alive, use the newly updated XR simulator to iterate faster, and set up a new scene to interact with the robot using our upcoming Building Blocks collection for AI. We'll test and debug our scene with the immersive debugger, and lastly, prepare our app for the Meta Horizon store using the MetaQuest developer hub. We have completely rebuilt the XR simulator. It is fast, modern, and intuitive. It works across all your Unity instances, making workflow smoother from the initial setup. XR Simulator brings you a cleaner UI and a new environment selector, allowing us to seamlessly change our synthetic environments at runtime. The installer is now part of the Meta XR Core SDK, stays open between sessions, launches faster, and supports multiple instances for multiplayer testing. It's also far more reliable, so you can focus on just creating. I built a simple audio controller class to trigger audio feedback when actions happen, like the robot spotting a flower or landing. We connect these to the plant placement controller and run the scene on the XR simulator. It's immediate and consistent for solo and multiplayer tests. Wouldn't it be nice to have a real conversation with our robot friend? Let me show you something we came up with that allows us to do just that. I'm talking about the Building Blocks collection for AI, covering object detection, large language models, speech-to-text, and text-to-speech, all pre-integrated with multiple providers. And if your preferred provider isn't listed here, create a new provider class, define the expected payload, and the block can process its outputs like from any other provider. To install a block, pick your inference type, select the provider, and enable any optional features like visualization or debugging. On the object detection block, you'll see Hugging Face as a provider with the detection transformer or DETR model as the endpoint. All you need to do is to set your own API key because this is a cloud-based provider. For the LLM block, we use the new Llama API, hosting the latest Llama 4 Maverick model. Llama API is currently only available for US users who can join the Llama API waitlist now. Check it out and get started with Llama API today. Now, to make our robot friend speak, we imported the speech-to-text and text-to-speech blocks with pre-implemented state-of-the-art providers. Now we've got object detection for awareness, the LLM for reasoning, and speech for a two-way interaction all in one seamless experience. For our demo, I created a simple mono behavior, robot AI controller, to chain all these tasks together. We are almost ready to ship this experience, but complex apps like this need constant testing. The immersive debugger makes this easy. It allows us to choose which values or functions to expose and tweak them at runtime with a pre-built UI. It's part of the Meta XR Core SDK, so you can turn it on via the Meta XR Tools menu under Immersive Debugger. We can now add properties in the Unity Inspector or via the debug member attribute. We'll use the inspector as no code changes are necessary. For this, we add a debug inspector component to each game object we want to call a method or change a variable from. If we enter the same category name on each of them, we can bundle them together. So let's call them Robot AI. Then we can select the properties and methods we want to call from the debug UI. I will need to at least call a button to trigger the microphone and add a slider to adjust the landing offset of our robot from the robot AI controller script. I also want to be able to turn off the bounding box visuals from the object detection visualizer. After deploying, you'll see a floating control bar. Open it, and under Robot AI, the immersive debugger turns Start Microphone into a button, landing offset into a slider, and bounding box visuals into a toggle. Perfect, let's slowly walk through this demo. We call the speech-to-text dictation from the button in the UI and speak our input. Hey, I'm kind of bored. Any ideas what I can do on this couch? 
After the transcription has finished, we automatically send an initial request to the Llama API to get a response back and let the robot speak it. I'm on my way to the couch to scope out the snack situation. You can see we also ran the object detection in the same frame and got some bounding boxes back immediately. Our robot now knows where the object we mentioned is and can fly there. Let's turn off the bounding boxes in the debugger. You can chill on the couch. Or, if you're feeling adventurous, grab that MetaQuest 3 headset on the table and dive into a virtual world. And that's it. We've gone from seeing and detecting, to reasoning, and finally to speaking, all in one continuous loop. We achieved this by importing our new building blocks for AI and chaining the responses together in one concise manager class. Before we can publish our app to the store, however, we need to ensure good performance, so the experience is enjoyable and safe for our users. For this, we can make use of the MetaQuest Developer Hub. Visit the MetaQuest Developer Center to download the installer for Mac and Windows. Start with a simple assessment of the frame rate and CPU and GPU utilization by opening the Device Manager tab. Here, we can install and activate the OVR Metrics tool. When clicking on the cog, you can decide which metrics to show inside your headset. On the headset itself, you can see that our experience is fairly simple, and we do not experience any frame drops, nor is our GPU or CPU fully exhausted. For a detailed frame-by-frame -frame analysis, the Developer Hub includes a Performance Analyzer tab. Here you can select modules like CPU, GPU, and FPS, and set thresholds in the gear icon at the top right such as flags when FPS drops below 60, or CPU-GPU usage exceeding 95%. Once connected, record your session and watch the real-time graph scroll. The analyzer will pin flags on the timeline whenever limits are exceeded, letting you directly jump to problematic frames. In our case, the app is fairly light and runs smoothly, but for complex scenes, this tool is invaluable. Before wrapping up, Let's prepare a store-ready build for our app. First, confirm the Android manifest is correctly set up. Go to Meta, then Tools, and then Create Store-Compatible Android Manifest. Next, we make sure we set a suitable package name for our project, as we won't be able to change this after our first upload. Then, we need to sign in our application with an Android key store under the Publishing Settings. Click on Key Store Manager, and create a new key. Select your key and sign your application with it. Finally, ensure the Android or MetaQuest platform profile is active in the build settings. Then, build your store-ready Android package. Awesome, let's briefly recap this session. We took our existing Blossom Body experience and enhanced its immersiveness by adding spatial audio to each interaction. We unveiled two brand new tools with the updated XR simulator and the Building Blocks collection for AI, with which we build a complex interactive scene. We use the Immersive Debugger to control this experience and allow us to talk to our robot friend. And lastly, we made sure that our app runs well using the Developer Hub. Visit the MetaQuest Developer Center to explore all our developer tools and SDKs. Also, check out our other sessions to learn how to create Blossom Buddy and how to bring this experience to the Meta Horizon Store. Thank you for joining us for this session, and we are looking forward to your feedback on our tools introduced at MetaConnect 2025.